The Oakland Police Department is investigating a homicide. On December 23rd, 2022, just before 2.30 a.m., the San Pablo Police Department contacted the Oakland Police Department about a possible homicide of a two-year-old. Investigators from OPD's homicide section immediately responded to take over the investigation. The preliminary investigation shows a child's body was believed to, be, to have been uh, killed in Oakland. Our investigators immediately began follow-up on all leads. The investigation eventually led us to Napa County, where our investigators located the body of two-year-old Jamari Mackins. An individual connected to the child's death was identified and arrested with the assistance of San Pablo Police Department. The circumstances associated with the child's death are still under investigation. I will not be able to go into significant details as our investigators are working closely now with the district attorney's office on what the appropriate charges will be for this child's death. There are no additional details, but I will say to the public, if there's any information that you know about this child's death and about this incident, we ask that you bring that information forward to the Oakland Police Department so that we can continue uh, to look into this case. Uh, this is a tragic case of, of a two-year-old child. Uh, this should not have happened. Uh, we uh, appreciate the hard work of the men and women of the Oakland Police Department who once contacted by the San Pablo Police Department uh, relentlessly followed up on every lead uh, to be able to uh, within the same day respond to Napa County and actually recover this two-year-old child uh, is a testament to uh, their tireless effort to solve this case uh, really tragic my heart goes out to the family my heart goes out to the community uh, we are in contact with the child's family and grandmother uh, it is a really tragic event uh, for the family as well as our community okay. uh, I'll speak to the second homicide that I wanted to speak to today that occurred today. This morning uh, in the 1400 block of 10th Avenue, uh, the Oakland Police Department responded to reports of a shooting that occurred on December 29, 2022 in the 1400 block of 10th Avenue around 08 a.m. When officers arrived, they located the victim who had sustained gunshot wounds. Uh, Oakland Fire Department and paramedics responded to the scene and provided medical treatment, but unfortunately the victim succumbed to the injuries and was pronounced deceased at the scene. Investigators from the OPD homicide section responded and began to investigate the circumstances surrounding the shooting. I will not be able to release uh, the victim's name at this time pending notification of next to kin. Again, if there's any information that anyone has related to this case, please share this information with us. Please help us solve this case. Um, this homicide represents the 120th homicide of the year in the city of Oakland the same time last year we had 134 homicides so although we have seen some slight reduction it is still tragic uh, to have 120 homicides uh, in the city of Oakland um, and so really challenging our community challenging uh, this this city to come together because we don't need to see another year like this uh, so I'm hopeful the last quarter of the year we have shown uh, I think some promise in our response to violent crime by reducing shootings and homicides. Um, and so we will we'll take those uh, plans that we implemented over the last quarter and continue to utilize those structures uh, in 2023. So uh, with that, I'll take any questions you might have. Please raise your hand and I will call upon you. Uh, the, the, um, in the investigation of the, of the two-year-old, can you describe any kind of relation for the, of, the sus of the suspect who's in custody and uh, charges that the uh, suspect is being held on? The suspect in custody now has been held on unrelated charges to this case as we continue to work with the district attorney uh, to identify what charges will be filed against him for this relevant case here, uh, the, the murder of the two-year-old. Uh, I think we are still in that phase of working with the DA to see what the charges are, but this individual does have a close connection to the child. Do, do you, can you describe what, the, what they're being held on now? There are other charges that I won't go into uh, uh, that the suspect is in custody for. I don't want to identify that at this time. Did you say that it was a family member too? I said someone close. I beg your uh, pardon. Yeah, someone close, close to the family. Yeah, someone close to the family and the child. And were there, uh, is this child, does this child have more than one family or uh, guardians? Is it a, a blended family? I'm, I'm trying to understand if there's, more caretakers as part of the family. 
I think it's hard to go into any specific detail without compromising the investigation at this point. I, I think uh, within the next week or so, I think you'll get more clarity about what happened in this incident. You'll understand how tragic it was. Uh, there is a, a relationship between the individual um, and the family. Uh, and so I think that'll be borne out when we are able to provide more information. Let me come over here real quick. I don't know your name. Uh, Joel with San Francisco Chronicle. Thank you, Joel. I, I was just wondering, uh, Chief, uh, in terms of how long the child was missing for, is there any indication as to uh, from when the child went, you know, or was found to when they were, you know, looking for him? Or what kind of correlation was that where, where the child was missing and you guys were notified? Yeah, we are tightening that timeline up. That's a part of the investigation. Uh, there had uh, been some time that had lapsed, a little bit of time uh, that elapsed. So I think that's something that I think made our investigators immediately jump on every lead uh, to make sure that we had every chance that we could to try to uh, locate the child. Um, and so I do, again, give credit because no time was wasted. And I think uh, recovering the child in the same day in another county really is a testament to that sort of relentless follow-up that I've been mentioning. Jacob. The coroner has not released the cause of death as of yet. As an autopsy being? Uh, yes, it will be. And it, yes, an autopsy is being performed by the Alameda County Coroner. Is there any sense for how long the body had been dead and, and where it was found? Was it outdoors, indoors, in Napa County? Was it like buried or something like that? Yeah, um, we don't have a clear sense. I think after the autopsy, we'll have more clarity as to time of death, uh, uh, you know, cause of death. It, the body was recovered outdoors. Can you give us a little bit more specificity on where the body was found? We understand it was Napa County. The family that we know of is in Fair, uh, Fairfield. Can you kind of give us some details about that? What I can say, uh, like I said, I can't speak specifically uh, to the circumstances. I can tell you that uh, we, uh, due to our investigation, we were uh, taken to the location where uh, where the child was, and the child was exactly uh, where it, uh, where uh, we were told that the child would be. And so, close to Fairfield in Napa County. Uh, I won't go specific as to where it was, but in Napa County. Henry, uh, Steve, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Do you say it was to where in I'll say uh, I won't give the specific location, but we know uh, it, it happened along International Boulevard is, is, is a location that we are looking into as a part of our investigation. Uh, that is still something that we're confirming up. Uh, we cannot at this time rule out anyone uh, in their involvement in this homicide. Uh, so I think we are still in that investigative uh, process. Part of international. We're just going to go with international. Anyway. Alex, you have a question? Um, On the second homicide, how old was this, the victim? We are not really. I'm sorry. The second, the second homicide. Second, the second homicide. Not the child. This, this right. one, this the, morning. Okay. 14, the uh, 1400 block of. Uh, are you asking about the one this morning? Yeah. yeah. I'll get that detail for you. We'll, we'll get you that detail. Okay, thank you. Back over here again, sir. Uh, Chief, in what, uh, in what way did Sam Cabo PD play, play a role in this? Because I know that it was, you know, the body was found in Napa, Napa yeah. County and this murder happened in Oakland. What, what role did Sam Pablo play in all this investigation? Well, I mean, they, they played a really key role, and I do want to, you know, appreciate the work of San Pablo Police Department. They made a stop of an individual, um, and once they made a stop of uh, that individual, and they took that individual uh, uh, into custody, uh, that individual provided us uh, information, provided the information to Sam Pablo Police Department that allowed them to contact Oakland and to, uh, to allow us to begin uh, this investigation. I think that's the critical point is if they don't do their due diligence and bring forth that information, we are not allowed, you know, our investigators don't uh, have the information they need to do the follow up investigation. Right, and so that really more, is key. Sorry, Chief. Time mm -hmm. for two more questions. Jacob, thank you. Um, was there any prior involvement of uh, the Alameda County Department for their family services uh, in this child's life? I, mean, I know that there are cross referrals between the law enforcement whenever that, that happens. Not that we are aware of at this time, but again, we are looking into everything, but not that we're aware. Just to clarify, on the international was that a, was that a was that where the child had been living, or was the child living no, somewhere else? No, we. I, I won't go into the specificity of where the child is living, uh, but what I what I was mentioning international is where we believe that is a proximity of where the incident may have occurred. But not where the kid.
but not where the kid was located. Sure, last question. Just want to make sure that I've got the logistics here. So far, you're telling us that the child somehow may have something may have happened here in Oakland at International. San Pablo police arrested someone, which led them to contact you. Is the San Pablo is the person who was taken into custody by San Pablo police the person who's in custody now, being held on other charges? No. So I want to clear clarify. So we're we're, we're speaking the same language. Uh, the Oakland Police Department was contacted first by San Pablo Police Department, advising us that they had information regarding the possible homicide of a two-year-old that happened in Oakland. Uh, that required Oakland to then begin its investigation. And our homicide detectives reached out to San Pablo PD and began to work with them regarding that information. Uh, after our investigators were, were able to verify that information uh, and begin their investigation, that's where they found uh, they were able to uncover additional leads to identify the location of the two-year-old. Um, and that's what led us to Napa County, where we eventually recovered the two-year-old's body. They, they stopped someone, and this person gave you the information to go there? Yes. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.